An unlikely group of women here in Music City giving new life to something dozens of musicians usually throw away. News Channel 5 photojournalist Catherine Stewart shows us how as we celebrate Tennessee. <laughs> Full of trouble, world that's full of pain. Many fall beside the road, never rise again. Welcome to Nashville. Hey, how's it going? It's so Music City. They're all different sizes. I can find whatever size you need. We have an awesome product for downtown. They're all 20. Have you guys heard of Strings for Hope before? These are guitar strings? Yes, ma'am. They're all repurposed musical strings uh -huh. made into jewelry. Some of the musicians downtown play on them and you're taking a piece of them with you. We have a class once a week. We partner with the next door, the women there make them, and then they get compensated for each piece. Today we're gonna do a different type of bracelet. My name is Brooke Anderson, and I am the foundation manager for Strings for Hope. Strings for Hope is a nonprofit organization. We take repurposed musical strings and make them into wearable art. Even the wrap that we use is like a bass string. I try to teach them a different style every single class. That looks really cool. You call your sponsor every day? Yes. Good for you, Jessica. They're all made by women who are trying to get back on their feet. That looks good, Kim. The next door is a transition place for women who are formerly incarcerated with drug and alcohol addiction. It's okay, it takes practice. You know, teach them a new trade. Add a red for when they get out. And Did you wrap this? Try to help them get back on their feet a little bit. Good job. You made your first bracelet. She worked really hard on it yesterday. You take one thing that a society thinks is disposable and turn it into something completely beautiful and completely different, um, almost like one form of art can't exist without the other. You're taking more than just a guitar string that is just, you know, a piece of jewelry. It's much more than that. My name is Jessica White, and I'm an employee for Strings for Hope. This last time that I violated, um, I said I wanted to go to prison and just get my time done. Um, I didn't feel like I had anything going for me at the time. She had a very low image of herself. Yeah. I sit down there and I start making these and it takes away like the worries or the stress that I have. The light bulb finally went off. It's never went off before. You can see it. it she glows from the inside. You know, she used to not have that. That light just came on. We're kind of like the perfect people to be making these because we're going through the transformation. That's what we're doing with the guitar strings. We're definitely just transforming them into their next phase of life. They're all 20. With knowing that a lot of people in Nashville are seeing these. Sometimes they like sell out Thank you. of the ones I make. It makes me feel really good. It just goes through so many hands and then onto someone's wrist. It carries on a story. It's a full circle. Everybody's helping each other. Thank you, have a good day. These women, we don't want them to go back to incarceration. We don't want them to go back to a life of addiction. They deserve a chance. Everyone does. Everyone does. I reckon that does it for me. What a great idea. You can find Strings for Hope selling the guitar string jewelry most days on Lower Broadway. We also have more information on newschannel5.com. I want one of those. I know. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go down and buy something. For sure. Yeah. <laughs>